Nam Ju Yag has charmed many K-drama devotees around the world over the years. He is best known for appearing in the TV series Who Are You School 2015, The Bride of Havoc, Weightlifting Fairy Kim Bog Ju, and Startup. With his good looks and acting talents, the former model continues to gain popularity and is set to win over more fans thanks to a slew of upcoming shows and movies. Whether you're into light-hearted slice-of-life dramas or supernatural shows, his repertoire has you covered. Here are 10 facts you may not know about Nam Ju Yag. He thought he was going to become a professional basketball player. The 6 feet 2 inches tall actor played basketball for three years in middle school. He thought he was going to have a career in sports. The problem with a dream like this is that athlete hopefuls have to take perfect care of their bodies, no major injuries allowed, and certainly not the kind that are bad enough to affect one's performance on court. His dreams of playing for the national team were cut short when he had to get surgery on both his legs after sustaining an injury. That didn't put an end to his love for the sport though. On an episode of Korean variety show Infinite Challenge in 2017, he was given the opportunity to meet Stephen Curry and even ended up beating the NBA superstar in a one-on-one -on -one match. He became a model after winning a competition. Seeing that he already had the height and the build for it, he turned to modeling instead. It was way off what he originally intended for himself, but it seemed like the right choice. When he moved to Seoul, he joined the competition top model and ended up winning. Afterwards, he signed with YGK+, the modeling management of YG Entertainment, and enrolled in a model academy. He officially kicked off his modeling career at the 2014 Seoul Fashion Week, booking and walking a total of 10 shows. His Breakthrough Project In 2016, every K-drama fan would have watched the scene in weightlifting fairy Kim Bogju, where he uses Lee song Yong as a human shield to protect himself from being splashed by water from a passing car. The same show catapulted him to fame and had fans falling for his adorable character, as well as the actor himself. He played the role of a swimmer, opposite actress Lee song Young, who became his real-life girlfriend, however, the two broke up just a few months after admitting they were dating. After the show ended, he revealed in an interview that he actually lost weight during filming. Between not having enough time to eat during breaks and having to swim in a cold pool for long hours, he lost 11 pounds by the time the show wrapped up. He learned horseback riding for his first movie. His first role in a movie was in 2018's The Great Battle, a historical film set in the Tang Dynasty. In the film, his character had to ride a horse for a few intense scenes. While he was on Radio Star, his co-star mentioned that Nam Ju Yag learned how to ride a horse just for the movie, showing his dedication to his craft. Critics took note of his performance and he soon became one of the industry's rising star to keep an eye on. His performance in the historical epic action film was commendable, and the fact that it was his career's very first movie made the milestone all the more impressive. He relates to his character in Startup. In Netflix's Startup, he played Nam Do San, a former math whiz turned aspiring entrepreneur. He is the founder of Samsung Tech, a startup company he created with his friends that has been stagnant for two years. When asked about his feelings toward his character, the actor shared that he identified with Nam Do San. He added that it was not difficult for him to immerse himself in the role, since they are the same age and have the same habit of trembling when nervous. He also added that being a nerd is part of who he is, which somehow makes him even more adorable. He had humble beginnings. Nam Ju Yag isn't all about career, there's more than meets the eye when it comes to this heartthrob, and it's his personal story that further won hearts over. Before any of this, even before he dreamed of making a name for himself in sports, he had struggled with family and finances. In his first ever talk show appearance on Radio Star in 2018, he talked about how he struggled in life before becoming a model and actor. He shared, it was really tough for me and my family. For the whole year of third grade, I only ate cup ramen. We didn't even have a bathroom in the house. He turns to his mother's old email whenever he needs to recharge mentally or emotionally. In an interview with Star One magazine, he revealed that when he needs to recharge mentally or emotionally, he turns to an old email written by his mother before his debut as an actor. He said, my growth as an actor happened thanks to an email that my mother sent me back in my days as a basketball player. When I made a fresh start as an actor, I read my mother's email again to put myself in the right frame of mind, and whenever I find myself exhausted, I read it again to gain strength. He has a fear of heights. In 2017, he starred in the TVN's K-drama The Bride of Havoc as the god of the land of water, who comes to earth with the aim of obtaining the sacred stones. 
The actor adorably revealed he has a fear of heights during a live stream with the cast of the drama. He explained he had the most difficulty while filming in mid-air, strung up by wires, saying, it's difficult because we have to act while considering the computer graphics. I have a fear of heights, so I was really scared when I had to film a scene where I was strung up in mid-air by wires. His love interest. Nam Ju Yog has single as far as we know, and his last public relationship, that didn't last very long, was in 2017, and it was with his weightlifting fairy Kim Bog Ju co-star, Lee Song Yong. He revealed to Soompi that he likes women who have short hair and sharp features, because sometimes they look cute, but other times they look intimidating. The model-turned-actor confessed that he is the type of person who falls for a girl, and it hits at him hard. He said, I had my first unrequited crush in the third grade of elementary school. I liked her for three years, and then I dated her in sixth grade, and then I couldn't forget about her until eighth grade. It was nearly six years. I'm curious about what she's doing these days. I used to sporadically ask how she was until I was 20, but I haven't talked to her in a while since then. His philosophy on acting and his mottos. In an interview for Nylon magazine, he went on to open up about his personal philosophy on acting and what he considered success in his line of work. He said, I think that there's no need to be hasty, and if you just keep moving forward consistently, things will work out. It's not a sprint, but a marathon. With Cosmo Men magazine, he revealed that he lives his life by three specific mottos, become a better person, don't become someone who has stopped moving, and keep challenging yourself. He explained, they're all in the same vein, but they're slightly different from one another. Don't stop moving means that I don't want to remain still without growing or improving. Challenge yourself means that I don't want to feel scared or nervous about the approaching future, that I want to fearlessly take on new challenges while I'm still able to do so.